Hello, my name is Fanny, and I'm a medical application engineer at the Materialized APAC Regional Office in Malaysia. This video is going to be focused on cardiac segmentation with the CT Heart tool in the MIMIC software. It's important to always find better and faster ways to speed up your workflow, especially in clinical settings where the number of segmentations needed of the heart might be high in volume and require accuracy. Our automated tools will hopefully help you to increase your productivity, leaving you more time for analysis, design, 3D printing, or whatever you typically do in your workflow after segmentation. We will see how to easily segment the full heart along with the myocardium in one click. Then, make some edits as needed, and finally segment the rest of the cardiac cycle automatically using your edited segmentation in again one click. Let's go ahead and work with this example here, where we have the blood pool of all the heart chambers and myocardium segmented and edited. Let me also show how this project consists of phase data or multiple CT stacks in the images taken at different times of the heart's beating cycle. We will later segment all these sets of images with one click. I'll hide all these masks and start over. Our first step is to head over to the Advanced Segment tab and launch the CT Heart tool. This tool offers an automatic method as well as a manual method and the choice to segment the left heart, right heart, or the full heart. You can also indicate whether you like the myocardium included in this model. Let's go ahead and segment the full heart using the automatic method along with the myocardium. The manual method is really more like the semi-automatic method, where you select seed points in the scan for each part of the heart. And the tool will segment the heart automatically based on that, and based on the contours or the gradient changes in the images. This is covered in another tutorial which you can check out later. It's recommended to try the automatic method first, and if this doesn't give you the results you're looking for, then you can use the semi-automatic method to place precise seed points. This tool can work on scans with scatter or artifacts, but it's best if the scan has contrast in the heart at the very least. As a result, you can see we'll have the full heart segmented and labeled automatically for us. You see we have some messy branches and some other items that we maybe don't want in our model. So let's edit these masks using the Edit Mask tool under the Segment tab. Basically what I'm doing here is cutting off some of these unwanted or incorrect aspects of the mask. Keep in mind the goal here is to edit your masks the way you like. That way when we go to segment the rest of the scans, we won't have to repeat these edits. And for now, I'll just edit the chambers of the left heart, so the aorta, left ventricle, and left atrium. Once I finalize my edits, I'll do a quick region grow from the segment tab, which will get rid of the unwanted floating voxels. I'll make sure my target is the same mask as the source mask. That way, it will remove those unconnected pieces while retaining my existing mask once I click on the model. Now we're ready to propagate these edits to the rest of the cardiac cycle. From the Advanced Segment tab, we'll use the 4D CT Heart tool this time. We'll now define the masks of the left heart that will be used as reference to segment the rest of these scans. The entire blood pool as our threshold mask, LA for the left atrium, LV for the left ventricle, and AO for the aorta. Then hit apply. As the tool goes from scan to scan, performing the segmentations, you will find their masks populate here on the right, as well as an indication of which scan the mask is associated with. This shows only the left heart, but the process is the same for the right heart or the full heart. Now that it's done, I'll head over and choose one of these CT stacks. I'll use the 20% phase 
and make that the active image data set by dragging and dropping it over the viewports. This is where we scroll through to do a quality check for that face. Then I'll highlight all the masks associated with that face and visualize it in the 3D view. And that's how you can optimize your workflow when it comes to heart and face segmentation. Thank you.